Welcome back to another episode of our Ruby on Rails tutorial series. Now today we're going to take a look at our register your company page and this is really the page we where we are going to register our company if we're a company owner. So let's just refresh this page and see what we have. You can see that we have our basic fields and you can see that if we try to change our country, our little our little widget here isn't really working because when it changes to Canada then all the regions in Canada should be the options. We shouldn't get any US options or, or options for states. Similarly if we change it to the United States we should only get states and no provinces for Canada. So we need to do something about that first. So why don't we just go ahead and flip into our code and we know right away that that's a big JavaScript issue and when we generated our controller for our, our companies it also generated to, for us a coffee script now i told you that i'm not going to be using coffee script because i'm more used to jquery and i don't know much about coffee script so we're just going to change this dot coffee to a dot js although i have heard that coffee script is more efficient somehow but i've never really had the time to look into it but anyways we'll just take all this comment and replace it and I'm just gonna copy in some code here and save it I'm gonna reopen it again to get us some color coding and you can see that the functions here are really the same it's something that we've seen before these are the functions that we've seen with org contacts so they're exactly the same and these are our company photo um, our company photo IDs or classes and this would be used to upload certain images of the company so let's say if the company has a brand or uh, or a logo then they would this code the, the lead company photo company photo all this code would be used to to do the image uploading process which I have went through in one of my previous tutorials so really there's nothing new here this is all code that you've seen before so I'm not gonna be explaining it uh, anymore so let's just flip back to our our page and refresh and see if it works so we'll just click Canada again nope it does not work so you might be wondering what's going on well we haven't done something important yet and the thing that's really important is in our models so when we go to our models what we are looking for is we need to we need to define some attributes but first we need to do some validations I want to validate that the type company is always true because when a company creates itself I always want their presence I always want them to select a company type so we'll just set that as true and I also want them to always have a name because there's no point for them to to register a company if it doesn't have a name so that's that the next thing I want to do is I want to do a steps nested attributes for and this is also something that we've seen before we've seen them with our, our org contacts so we want to do this for type company our org contacts and our type B so that should be it for this file so also we want to add an extra mount uploader because at some point we would want to upload upload photos for our for our company so so putting this accepts nested attributes for would allow us or it would change the the tags in a specific way so if I refresh it should start working now so you can see that Canada only gives us provinces when we flip to it and if we flip to the states it only gives us states and what I mean by it gives us certain attributes is if I go inspect element and I look at the element of one of these drop downs you can see that the, the, the name is or company or contacts attributes zero type countries ID so really when we have uh, steps nested attributes for um, symbol or a function then that is 
how it generates this name for our for our for our drop down. If I remove it, then we won't have that. So if I remove it, this would stop working as we've expected. And if we look at the name, it would change. And this does not correla correlate to our JavaScript that we defined because we defined our JavaScript as org company, org contacts, attributes zero, type country's ID, for example. So we need that accepts nested attributes for to have a proper mapping of the name to our JavaScript. So that's a little video on how our accepts nested attributes and our JavaScript and the name of our dropdown all tie together. If you've never figured that out, then there you go. Um, I'm going to end this video here to keep it really short. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.